I think it was a good meeting. I think it's very good to get this information out to the public. I think it's very good for persons who have uh, been abused in the past to, to bring that information forward. And the statute of limitations, it's very specific. We have to know all the details to know whether they're outside the statute of limitations. But hopefully this will help lift that veil of silence that has been over families for so many years. Uh, where children were not comfortable reporting. They would report to a family and the family would not report it. Hopefully this will give parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, friends, the encouragement that when a child does tell you about a situation like this, you report it to law enforcement and let law enforcement properly investigate it and see what's going on. The only way to, to attack child abuse is to lift that veil of silence and, and give the children and the, fa the people around those children the encouragement to come forward and report. Statistically, you know um, that there are more cases out there. What we're hearing about is people who are old enough and set enough in their careers, families, that they're now willing to come forward. The trick is getting the young children and the teenagers who have been abused to, to have the courage to come forward because statistically those cases are out there and in all walks of life not just the Catholic Church, all clergy, doctors, lawyers, teachers, all walks of life. It, abuse transcends all occupations.